Morning, Chad. Hey, everybody. <laughs> My nose is drippy. <laughs> Say hello, Barto. Never mind. Right, okay. Let me follow up my previous video, which was titled Microsoft's Customer Disservice. Right, I knew something like this was going to happen the very moment that I saw a YouTube video come out talking about the government getting involved with the loot box scandal. And it was a setup. It was a setup to get to this type of thing. Why? I believe the government is teaching the game industry a very, very valuable lesson about player trust. How? By dissuading players from trusting the video game companies. Teaching them that they need player trust in order to fucking exist the same way the government itself needs civilian trust in order to exist. I think they're going off on a very valuable tangent in teaching a very important lesson. However, Microsoft, I could have fucking told you what the fuck to do, okay? I know how this shit works. If you don't learn your fucking lesson and start making decent decisions and telling whatever agent is telling you this dumb shit to fuck right off, we're going to do it this way because we know better. Until you reach that point, it's just going to get worse. You've invited this problem in the moment you fuckers decided to disobey me back when my gamer tag used to be Ketsune Katana. Fucking morons. Do what the fuck I tell you, and you won't have to worry about government people teaching you a valuable lesson about player trust. Okay? I know I'm right. I don't give a fuck what anyone else has to say. I don't care. I really don't care in this scenario. Microsoft's going to learn the hard fucking way, everybody. The hard way. Now, as far as damage control is concerned, how low is Microsoft stock going to actually dip because of this? How far are they going to push and listen to a government agent telling them to do what's wrong until they learn to do what's right? How far is this going to go? I have no clue. I could take a look at the end result and say gaming is going to be better. I can tell you it's going to happen this year. I can tell you that they're going to do what the fuck I tell them to do eventually. I can tell you that I'm going to be in charge of a great deal of things. And I'm going to micromanage and make sure that everyone's agency and pursuit of happiness is supported and endorsed and the the all if null or all of null I'm not sure about the phrasing of it all if null variation of infinite combinations and infinite possibilities is explored so that the player can do whatever they want in the game and have fun I can tell you this end result is going to happen that I'm going to have a lot of control over this this whole thing that's going on. I can tell you that the path leading up to that point is completely outside of my control. Microsoft's decided to have their disservice to customer satisfaction and, and violate player trust even further on top of the loot box scandal. I can tell you that an absolutely, I know for an absolute, Someone is making them make these horribly stupid decisions to teach them a valuable lesson. And because the government got involved with the loot box scandal, I'm going to say it's a government agent. Or an entire agency. I'm not saying this is a bad thing. I'm saying that uh, 
Microsoft's choices that led to this scenario is a bad thing. I'm telling you right now, Microsoft, all you have to do is tell whoever it is, okay, you fuck off. We're going to do what this dude says because it's what's right. <laughs> and do what the fuck I tell you to do. Right, okay. There, I just wanted to follow up. And I wanted to say, hey, I know what the fuck's going on behind the scenes. I may not be 100% accurate as to who is making Microsoft make these horrible choices, but I know that one person or agency is behind all these dumb shit decisions. So, young yeah, when, when you get a hold of this information, um, I hope you see this video as a follow-up to my... Microsoft's customer disservice video. I hope you see it. I hope you understand. This is the way that a parent would teach a child if the child was just completely unruly. This is one of the one of the possibilities that a parent teaches a child. And gaming is still a fucking infant in the grand scheme of things. The gaming industry is just still shitting its pants in diapers at this point. Just like America itself is still an infant in the grand scheme of society as a whole. We'll get into that later. <clears throat> okay. Everybody, keep in mind, things are going to get better, but because the gaming industry has had its head up its own ass and it wants to go with this let's glamorize dumb choices decision someone or some group of people have had to step in take control and put them on this path to learn a very hard earned very valuable lesson about player trust and not being a fucking retard The whole situation just smelt like shit at the bottom half of that previous paragraph. It just started to smell like shit. Then I got to thinking, the question isn't why are they doing this? The question is what purpose does this serve? Targeted based interest and shit? That seems dumb and very short-sighted. This is a de deliberate violation of player trust. Why is this a deliberate violation of player trust? They haven't made this dumb decision before. They haven't made these stupid decisions. And this isn't about uh, monitoring people for the sake of keeping track of uh, repeat offenders. <clears throat> this is something else. So I thought about it for a minute. Just a brief moment while I'm watching Gray Still Plays here on YouTube, I thought about it, and I concluded that they're being taught a very valuable lesson about player trust, about not doing stupid, dumb, retarded shit because they need to do what's right, and they need to listen to someone telling them, hey, I know what's right, listen to me. Yeah, you, you, if you think that a few years ago, not a few, quite a few, little more than a few but not a lot if you think that 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 bit with a child being brought in to tell a company about uh, what was it Pokemon at the time a while ago if you think that listening to little children tell you what's best for gaming right now is a good idea you're 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 wrong Microsoft I'm a gamer I've been gaming my whole life. The whole 30 years I've been in this current physical body, I've been a gamer. I've played everything from the Atari 2600 up to several handheld and mobile <laughs> versions of the Nintendo's handheld devices. Started out as a Game Boy. I've played a lot of Nintendo consoles. 32-bit, the 64, the Super Nintendo, <clears throat> the... I've got a Wii right over there. 
Um, that was generously donated to me by someone. Um, I've played the GameCube. I really like the GameCube. I've I've played the Xbox, the 360. I've got a one. I've played PlayStation, PlayStation 2. <clears throat> I've played the Sega Game Gear. I've played uh, three different Sega consoles. Sega, Sega Saturn, Sega CD, Sega Genesis, Sega 32X. Oh yeah, a lot more than three. <laughs> I've got a lot of experience playing games. I can tell you what a gamer wants without them even knowing it. I've studied psychology. I've read books on psychology. I have a varied view of gaming from the psychological standpoint, from the gamer standpoint, from the business standpoint. You want to pay those dividends, Microsoft? Listen to me. You want player engagement in your games? You want positive reviews? Listen to me. You want people to enjoy the games? Game devs, Microsoft, every, everybody involved in making games, listen to me. Listen to me. I know what's the best for your company. If you don't listen, bad shits are gonna happen again. You're not gonna like it. Somebody's gonna get involved. Bad words are gonna be thrown around, such as disservice. Heh, that one's already thrown around. Player mistrust. Um violation of player trust these are all phrases but you, you get the general gist of what I'm trying to say here you're gonna have a bad time unless you listen to me you do what I tell you Microsoft you do what I tell you game devs and your games they'll sell like fucking hotcakes bang right out the fucking window you won't even have time to see it hit the shelf. It's going to go straight into play of hands. It's all going to be pre-ordered. Everybody's going to be happy. Everybody's going to give positive reviews. You're not going to have bugs and glitches that break the game. People are going to have fun. You're going to have fun. I'm going to have fun. Listen to what I'm telling you. Because I know what the fuck I'm talking about. Hey, you little boys going on nowadays? You fucking get out of here. You don't know shit about nothing. You ain't got enough life experience. I know what I'm talking about. I've been here for 30 fucking years. Capiche? Hey, everybody. If you enjoy the, the satire, the parody, and the comedy that went on there, as well as the information that I've given, hit the like button. I know you want to. Drop a subscription on my channel. Hit that bell notification thingy. Ding dong, your ding dong with the bing bong. There we go. You'll have fun seeing me come out with new stuff all the time. Whew. Leave a comment. Because why not <laughs> check out my patron my patreon page there's a link in the description for this video as well as all the videos that will be coming out on my channel till next time everybody have fun I'll catch you on the flip side